Hi, I'm Keith Grennan, engineer at Inmobi, and I'm going to help you get started integrating the Inmobi JavaScript ad code. The JavaScript ad code is the simplest way to get Inmobi ads into your website. Uh, it's rich media ad compatible, and it offers a low latency solution so your site will load faster um, and won't be blocked by ads loading. So to get started, um, head over to Inmobi.com click on my sites click on the site you want to integrate and then there'll be a, a panel available uh, which contains the JavaScript ad code that you simply copy and paste into your site so just copy that and um, paste it into the uh, area of your site that you'd like ads to show up there's two parts to the ad code there's a, a JavaScript configuration variable and then there's the ad code itself which is a JavaScript include um, the configuration contains the site ID, which should already be filled out. It defaults to slot 15, which is a 320 by 50 pixel rich media compatible banner slot. And uh, the test variable should be set to true while you're testing your integration and then can be removed when you're ready to go live. And when a user sees a, uh, a rich media ad, um, they'll often uh, see an animated banner and uh, will um, the ad will contain um, rich media features like video animation and other interactive features and uh, when the user has done the experience after they've clicked the banner and have uh, interacted with the ad you just simply um, close the ad and it returns back to the original size another type of ad um, provided by the JavaScript ad code is interstitial ads. Interstitial ads are um, not loaded when the page loads, but they're loaded in between um, the user uh, moving to a new piece of content or in a game moving to a new level. Uh, the interstitial ad comes up in between and the user has the option to interact with the ad or dismiss it. So uh, in this case, I've manually triggered this interstitial ad to come up, but in, on the case of a regular site, this ad would just be triggered by um, the normal flow of the website. So um, the user interacts with the ad and then uh, closes it and returns to the website. So more information on that is available in the wiki. And uh, just click on Integration Manual and uh, it takes you to the wiki which has um, detailed information about uh, integrating um, banners and interstitials and uh, includes a section on demographic information if you want to have more specific targeting of users you can pass um, demographic information in that um, that initial that first JavaScript tag that contains a configuration simply by adding these parameters to the tag that will pass those to the ad server and enable uh, demographic targeting of, of users. Okay, so I encourage you to uh, go check out the wiki and uh, um, get started. Yeah, and so I hope this video helps, and thanks for watching.